What's up guys, it's the only Ninja wearing aviators and a Superman have bringing you another episode of Weapon Logs here on the Modern Ninja channel. This time we are going over my sword from ultimateweapons.com. So for those of you that don't know, Ultimate Weapons is a website online that I'll leave link in the description for you guys, where you can go and buy a bunch of different types of weapons, mostly for performing. So you're going to be looking for XMA or extreme martial arts style weapons. These weapons are going to be lighter, not built for combat, but built for flat flare. Ugh, can't talk built for flare and built for speed and so a lot of the weapons are going to be lighter uh less durable for that light the lightness and speed advantage with that said what we're going to be reviewing today is my sword that i got from them a little bit ago i've had this for a little not too long uh only a couple months and i have been putting it through the ringer as you can see it's the sword i've been using on the majority of my videos so when you order, it's gonna come in a couple different sizes. I believe I got the medium size, but um, it's all up to you guys. It gives the exact inch diameters that you can uh, measure out your arms, measure out how long you want it. I suggest measuring out your shoulder to your fingertip, and that being the number you go, ooh, you go closest to. Uh, that's the way I buy swords. That's the way my instructors have bought swords, and that is the way I advise other people to buy swords so if that's what you're looking for right now definitely remember shoulder to fingertip and the closest measurement to that if you want it longer for whatever reason go for it if you want it shorter for whatever reason go for it it's up to you but that is my advice uh, as far as the sword goes it is very i think it's very nice for uh what you get it's not super expensive it's gonna run you about a hundred dollars but it's still cheaper than what most other sword places are gonna run you for especially for the features it comes with uh as far as features it comes with this nice sheath uh, the sheath is going to be made out of wood. I think I'm going to repaint it because it comes a standard black, uh, which is fine. I have no problem with black, obviously. I just think I want more designs on it, so I might paint something on it a little bit later. Uh, but as far as the blade goes, the blade is going to be a nice shiny aluminum blade and you can get it customized with whatever uh, numbers or words or your name. I chose to get my black belt number. It's also the number on the top of my rebel hat. So for those of you that pay attention, it's also the number at the end of my um, Instagram. So my black belt number right there. I don't know if you could see it super well. Don't know if you could see it super well, but this is my black belt number. There you go. Uh, now the thing with this sword is that it is very light, very fast, uh, which is good, but it's also not very durable. So these swords, these types of swords don't last forever. If you're expecting some sword that you can, you know, trick with and train with and then hand off to your kids and their kids and their kids, this is not going to be what lasts. This is not steel. This is not one of those types of swords. Uh, over time it will start getting nicks and you know scratches and scrapes and stuff like that from being dropped and being used and being trained with it's part of you know the sword's life when you train tricks when you train harder stuff that are uh, involved throwing it and letting the sword go and flipping it up in the air it's kind of just what happens it breaks eventually and so there is not a single person i know that has used this sword and actually trains with it that hasn't broken at least one uh, I've broken a sword, my instructor's broken a sword, my friends have broken swords, everyone breaks a sword eventually, it's just a matter of when and what trick you do on. But with that said, um, these swords do have a history of lasting a long time provided you don't do any of the crazy stuff. So if you just want something to kind of put you know, on a shelf and uh, use it every now and then for some simple stuff, this will be great, this will last you a pretty long time. But if you want to use this type of sword to do tricks, this is the best sword for it because steel and, you know, harder materials are heavier and will kill you if you mess up. So this is what it's for. Uh, with that said, it's also not come, it doesn't come sharpened. Obviously, if you swing it hard enough at something, you'll cut through it. If I stab it hard enough at someone, it'll stab them. But it is not, it is not uh, super sharp. You can grab the blade and that is because it's built for tricking. So all of you guys looking for real swords, 
that's great. I'll do a video on some real swords later once I get some money to buy some real swords. But this is not it, don't think it is. I'm not trying to trick you or tell you that it, it is something that it's not. Look into these swords if you're looking into tricking and you're looking into weapon play. If you're not, this isn't gonna be the sword you wanna use. Lastly, I wanna go into the grip. Now the grip does come with a, a bunch of different options. Uh, they give you other colors and designs and patterns. Uh, I chose for the straight black one because I knew I wanted to paint my sheath and I wanted the black handle to stand out. Um, it is a, a good grip. I haven't had any problems with it unraveling. I know I have the tape at the end coming off, so I'm gonna have to repair the tape in a little bit. But the grip itself is pretty solid and it's a nice grip. It feels good in your hand. Um, if you wanna regrip it, it's not that hard. Uh, just make sure when you unwrap this one, remember how the pattern goes so you can wrap whatever grip you want, whether that's uh you know baseball bat grip tennis grip which is one of my favorites actually uh whatever that is um make sure be careful to wrap it the exact same way it comes because it comes very solid and very like it doesn't it doesn't shift around or anything like that just to make this point out there just to put this point out there i don't advise anyone getting started in martial arts anyone new to martial arts using a sword all swords are dangerous regardless of how sharp they are just at, by the nature even this sword uh, like I said, if you swing it hard enough, you get it going fast enough, it can cut and it can hurt. So make sure, be responsible. If you're, you know, a kid, get your parents to sign off on it. Or if you're an adult, be, make a good choice, make the good decision. Make sure you know what you're doing before you pick up a weapon. That's just all martial arts in general. If you make sure you know what you're doing before you pick up a weapon. But with all that said, I hope you guys liked this review. If you wanna see more, definitely hit that like and subscribe. Uh, button so you can see my next videos and while you're there hit that notification so you don't miss any of the videos that are coming out with all that said my name is dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out by the way links to the shirt down in the description